missing a major piece. What's that? Roads. Roads, roads are one we, item we have in and of itself. Yes, but we have decreased what we are spending in roads in years. No. How do you mean? No. How do you, I can show ahead. you. I can show you. Well, go ahead. I mean, just explain it to us. Well, I'm more concerned now than when I first came to the meeting. Um, a careful analysis of the financial statements of the city show that we have increased spending in every department except public works every year. Okay, wait, explain why. I, I, I do want to say this. So when I started studying the budget, we were spending $380,000 on roads. We're now up to seven. Well, it was seven forty this year, I think, but it's, it's an amount that's much. Okay, I, I have a question. So in three years, it's gone from, the road budget has gone from 350000 to 750000 So I'm wondering, is that an increase? That's an increase. Okay. So we want to show this clip because multiple times the PG3, specifically in council meeting, has been told that we have increased the road budget. Multiple times by the mayor, by other council members. We presented this information. Blaine right here admits, who is asked by council member Anderson, has this been an increase in roads over the past three years? And he says yes. Yet according to their website, right here it says that the city council has chosen to allocate a mere $200,000 for general funds to our roads. In 2013, we were the first council in the history of Pleasant Grove to dedicate an additional fund amount of about, it was actually $195,000 to our roads. For the first time, we started doing that. Now, that general fund money could have gone to another fund. It could have gone to Parks and Rec, it could have gone to Police or Fire, it could have gone to a number of other uh, departments in the city. But we heard from the citizens and heard that they wanted to start repairing the roads more quickly. And so we started dedicating that money towards roads. On their website, just a few, actually the next paragraph, it says, the city has just approved spending increases in every part department except roads. We're confused. So either we spent $200,000 from the fund, $195,000, or we didn't. So they're trying to confuse the public. We've told Blaine and other members of the PG3 multiple times that we have increased our road funding because this is their campaign promise that they're running on, that they're going to fix our roads without increasing your taxes, without cutting your services. This is their campaign promise. And we're here to tell you that our city council has realized what the citizens want and need, not just in roads, but in multiple departments throughout the city. We want to look at the big picture in Pleasant Road. So that's why I want to point out that from the mayor and the council member Anderson, we have told them that we have increased the road budget. So, uh -huh. I'll be There's another key statement there, I think, and hopefully you caught out where you said increased spending in every other department. And so maybe I could ask, I'm going to pick on Pete again, maybe talk to that about uh, department increases over the last five or six years? Um, there is a, uh, as far as everything, it's been uh, spending increases related to general fund. And there's a chart actually on the city's website that kind of shows this. But um, really, the things that have been funded, very specific, I even got a list of it here. We have funded a couple of positions in police. We, most of the money, or the largest percentage of it, has just gone for regular pay increases or uh, things associated with increased cost of employees. Um, and so that's a lot of money. I, I think if you look, 2010 and 11, I think we went 11 and 12, I think there was, there was no pay increase. I think two years there was 3% 3, 3 increase, and I think there was two years there was 2% increase. So, so yeah, it's true, money has been spent on those things rather than, rather than those. Um, we've also spent some money is particularly related to a lot of our entry level employees. Um, we were finding, especially in the past year or so, that uh, we were losing a number, especially public works employees. Um, and, and unemployment was higher, it wasn't a big issue. People weren't leaving, and employment's lower now, and uh, that has caused us. And we've looked at that related to several areas of the city, uh, public works, and uh, dispatch was one too, where we were losing a lot of people. And a lot of that was in response just to. Uh, Again, to in order to keep people, we're finding a dispatch where we hire somebody, keep them for six months, and then they go find a full-time job at the uh, county or something like that. So we're losing people. Um, as far as operating budgets, in other words, things other than personnel, there really has been very, very, very little 
increase in the five years I was there. Uh, I don't think there was one year where I ever told people, hey, you've got X amount of dollars extra to spend, tell us how you want to allocate it in your budget. We have, we have come to a few things here and there. Um, but when I say things, I mean things that might have been five or $10,000. There, no, there was no general increases in those department budgets in the general fund for, um, for those five years. I can vouch for that. <laughs> years as the fire chief. Other than that, going full time level of increased budget, we stayed relatively flat. But for nine years, the citizens required more and more service. And so I have to commend every single one of the city employees because they continue every day to do more with way less resources than other places. And they're happy to do it, which is amazing. <clears throat> I, I think if you can, we can we can show you up for the meeting's mind. If you, if you go back over the last five years and uh, look at the operational budgets of the departments, you're going to see that they've done quite well with actually no increases and, and doing more for less. And then when we challenged uh, the PG3 in the debate, going line by line with these revenues, I, I think we're getting confused with the revenues, money, 1.7 million, and administration costs. And so I, I, Maybe they can explain themselves on that a little more because I think they're getting confused in our budget. And so when we've asked them to go line by line, and when you actually go by line by line, you're going to actually start dealing with level of services to our citizens. And you're actually going to deal with uh, people and cuts. And so they need to address that.